Hey, hey there guys, Elton McFall here, aka Retro Old School, in my room here, in my apartment in Hochelaga, Montreal. Beautiful morning here, and um, I thought I would take this opportunity, since I like to chill out here in the morning sometimes more than ever, because I hate my living room, because it's actually more narrow than my room. And um, in the morning, <clears throat> in the morning when if it's sunny, the sun really comes through the window, and... Uh, you know, you can see uh, some of my many, many things. And mind you, of course, you know, this is just one wall of my room. So, you know, if you've seen my other videos, then you've seen some other stuff. I have my walls, my office, my living room. Yep, that's an 82 Jeep Grand Wagoneer ad, which I will not sell because I used to have a smaller one. And it wasn't even as nice an ad because it was on a cheaper paper. And this one I framed, I said, no, that's a keeper. And that's why it's in my room, because if I put it in my office... The sun is usually out there longer, uh, shining in the office, so I could actually discolor the ad. Anyway, back to the task at hand. So, um, uh, last week I pulled out this, uh, uh, this envelope and, uh, you know, looking for another segment to make another segment of these, you know, these old pictures that I've taken. As I was showing, I've shown before, there's my, there it is, that's the bulk of it right there. A few others scattered in. A few other photos are scattered, and then some, maybe a couple of albums you see there with those books, and that, you know, you got all these slides underneath there. But that's another story. That's another story there. So, uh, yeah, this is really uh, mostly almost all like pictures related to architecture. So all kinds of different buildings, few houses, and pictures taken years ago before. I would say about two, you know, before two thousand six generally, and then like in two thousand. Uh, seven, I bought a, my first digital digital camera, but actually I was so old school, I was so stuck in my ways that even uh, that I, I didn't um, I didn't actually start using the camera I think full time until months later. You know, I just kept using my Canon uh, EOS. Okay, so here we go. We'll uh, start her off there, and uh, so what you see here is a street scene in Brooklyn, New York, and you got the L there, and the L, which would be E L. Uh, is um, reference as a slang to the elevated subway line overhead, and as you can see, and then you know what? Actually, excuse me, scratch that. That was not in Brooklyn. This was in Queens. As a matter of fact, some of these pics are from New York, and there'll be other ones. There's so many photos in this envelope that I have to put this in two segments because if not, it's going to be like over a half hour of this video, and I'm not going to make it that long. But anyway, this one goes out to uh, Action Kid, whatever your name is, dude. I like, you know, I enjoy watching some of your videos, your walking videos. And here's another one here. And by the way, I forgot to mention, this was in um, 2003, March or April. And here's one of the Lower West Side. Look at that guy getting in a, in a Crown Victoria. I don't know, just, you know, me spur at a moment. Look at nice old brown stones there. Different tones of brown and concrete and I think that was a, on a Sunday speaking of which that's uh, definitely uh, Manhattan somewhere in Manhattan good old Crown Victoria is no longer in service an American icon from the streets of New York City has disappeared and to me that's as great as an impact as when the checker taxis and the caprices disappeared anyway I don't want to go into it because it's actually depressing but this is a symbol of the old days and this is only what you know like 15 years ago, uh, I went down there with my friend Daryl. Actually, I stayed at this place in um, in uh, Connecticut because he was originally from Montreal. His dad worked for uh, Seagram's. Anyway, Daryl, if you get to see this, hey buddy, how's it going, man? Give me a get in touch with me again there. I'm sorry I didn't get back to you. I'm going through some difficult moments there, <clears throat> difficult moments in my life, and but I'm doing good now. Doing good. I'm not sure about this job I have there. I don't think I'm going to keep it. I don't want to go into that because that alone is depressing. So, uh, continuing along, uh, this is definitely in Brooklyn. This is interesting because you got your older Crown Victoria. Again, like I said, this was in uh, 2003. So, this Crown Vic there, I think, is like, a, what is it, 98 or older? Busy street scene somewhere in Brooklyn. I don't know where. You can see that Dodge Neon has got his backup lights on. So, is that Dodge Camper in the front. There's a Toyota Camry, 87 to like 90, in a color... I don't think they ever sold these in this color up here. I never saw one in this color because a lot of people don't know that. You know, just because we have the same shit for decades, you know, between here and Canada when it comes to cars or American cars or whatever, 
Uh, that doesn't mean that they were exactly the same, even in colors. Uh, this was in 2001. I've been to New York a few times, and you know, look at that. Now, this was funny because I've taken, I took this photo, and I think a few others you'll see, with a defective Vivitar camera. Piece of junk. It seems the only fucking times it took great pictures was if I took the pictures vertically. I think this one is really, you know, self-explanatory. Times Square, rain, and... You know, America and American, American cars. You know, Mercury Sable and the crown of it. And, uh, you know, well, I don't know. I thought this merited a photo, but obviously I took it a little too fast. I still think it's cool. It's kind of uh, very symbolic of what my eyesight is like, quite frankly. That's pretty much what it's like. That kind of, uh, pretty much bang on for that blur. That's what it is, man, right there. No bullshit, man. Maybe that if I ever like become famous, you know, I'll expose this photo, I'll have it blown up in a fucking gallery somewhere and says, This is what my site is like. That's just what what the title will be. Uh okay, there's a double. Uh court of sort of unrelated. This was in uh uh two thousand two in uh, Syracuse, New York. I don't know, I guess I like these old brown stoves, these vintage buildings. You know a building's really old when it's got half moon windows like that? And I don't know, the cube trucks and stuff. And they go out of focus. You know, 2002, that was with my friend James Mays there, floating around in a 69 Ambassador wagon. More on that in the future, I'm sure. Again, same place, different cars. I don't know why it keeps going out of focus like that. I guess because everything's really small. New York on Sunday. Big city taking a nap. Anyway, that was with the other photos you saw in New York where it was sunny. That was in uh, on a Sunday in, uh, I don't know, end of March, something like that. But now we're still in 2001. I think this was in March. Uh, again, this was the defective Vivitar camera. And look at that. Is that a beautiful fucking sight or what? Bunch of Crown Victorias. Only Crown Victorias. And I see one... Uh, Honda Odyssey. Why do you keep going out of focus like that? Jesus Christ, it's not like we're in the dark here, you know? That was weird. I just heard something fall down the stairs from my balcony. Uh, anyway, there's some birds that like to hang out on that balcony. Alright, totally not New York. Bancroft, Ontario. Not very close. Nice little town. Okay, back in Montreal. Oh, that was in uh, 2002, by the way. Uh, this was uh, in uh, Cartierville, in here in Montreal, uh, northern tip of the island, near Saint Laurent, in Saint Laurent, and uh, this was on Gwen Boulevard. Actually, I can see why the camera doesn't want to focus because this camera is uh, this photo is not sharp, actually. And you can speak in a Crown Victoria as it could sort of see one there. Uh oh, somebody's calling me. Andre's calling. Oh shit. Oh. Damn it. I'll have to call him. Fuck. I'll have to call him back. Oh shit. I'll call him back right after. Poor guy. I haven't talked to that guy in a while. He's not doing great. I speak in old Toyota Camrys just to show you how much they sold well. There's another one. Next to a Mitsubishi Galant, I believe that is, on the left of it. BMW, that's in Ville Saint Laurent. <clears throat> Ville Saint Laurent, there's an old uh, uh, Dodge Caravan. I don't want to keep saying old, it's not young. It's not, it wasn't even new back then. This photo I took in 2000. This was on DeCary Street, Ville Saint Laurent. And uh, that plane, hang on. I don't know, I don't know what the hell it is. What airline? St. Catherine Town, St. Catherine Street. Looks to be an 87, 88, or, yeah, it looks like a, no, sorry, 87 and under uh, Mercury Grand Marquis at the corner of St. Marc, St. Marc, great picture. By the way, any of these photos are for sale if you want, two bucks a picture. As a matter of fact, I had an idea after I did the last installment of this, since I'm becoming kind of known there. Uh, I'll tell you what, I will sign one of these photos right at the bottom with my signature. Okay, and uh, I almost said ten dollars, but I mean, come on, I'm not fucking Doug the mural, you know. Uh, whatever, five bucks. Yeah, 
And uh, here is a picture, I took it 99 or 2000. Uh, yeah, that was from a, uh, a hotel. I don't even know if it's still a hotel or it's a fucking uh, apartment building. I gotta switch hands on this, get annoying to hold this. Uh, on uh, on uh, Crescent Street. And Crescent Street is really the street for the uh, high rollers. It's just too bad that you can't see the cars too well, but I can tell you that this one here, the beige one, convertible, I don't know if you can see that. That's a Mercedes like SL convertible roaster, I'm sure of it. Yeah, I see it won't, it won't uh, focus when it's that close. Focus! Anyway, you get the idea. Yeah, cameras are, obviously, it's not hard to see why cameras have a hard time focusing when it's zoomed in on so much stuff that's so small. Oh, well, there's a double of uh, said street scene in Bancroft. Uh, this is a picture of one of my favorite fire stations. Actually, that, sorry, that is my favorite fire station. That's Fire Station 30 on the corner of Laurier and saint Lana. I think this was 2003 or four. The green cover-up on all the doors, that was a protest measure, you know, the, I don't know, unfortunately the fire department and the police have often been protesting over the years against the city for better wages and working conditions and so forth. Uh, again, I think 2003, great picture, fantastic picture, that's the only picture I ever took going to work, I was working. It sucks filming with a phone because you see now it's it's up to capacity because it takes up so much memory because the quality is so high that it stopped recording. So I you know anyway uh, so yeah this was um, a Phillips Square downtown Montreal on my way to work at uh, Protocol. Just gorgeous gorgeous uh, spring morning. I'm gonna hurry this up up along there because the camera don't feel like filming it no more. Don't it's no wonder it doesn't want to stay in focus. Now I know why. I keep forgetting that's why. This was in Ville Saint Laurent somewhere. I noticed that little dot. Okay, so now I'm using my Canon camera here, Canon Digital, uh, because uh, that's it. The uh, the other camera, it's not just that the uh, it takes up so much memory when it's filming for video, but uh, it's also also because I didn't upload other stuff I have uh, in the camera. So uh, it's just again using up more memory in the computer part of the the phone and all that. So. I want to finish this video and I'll have to charge the phone in and blah, blah blah anyway right now I went to go transfer all the videos and photos so I want to finish this and because anyway this camera doesn't do a bad job it's not as exact as the phone but still very good okay this is just somebody's house whatever that was uh, near Lakeshore Hospital in the uh, uh, I guess it's Kirkland part of the, the, the city there in the West Island or as I jokingly call it the Waste Island speaking of the Waste Island this was a some shambles of a how home looked like it could have been taken in Mississippi, but actually that was also in the West Island, the Burbs. Uh, and, uh, this was actually next to the uh, right where the track was for this the Sunnybrook train station in the Pierrefonds uh, district, or as some people call it Roxborough Pierrefonds because of the merger. But I'm not crazy about that. But anyway, enough about that. Uh, th okay, but yeah. By the way, these two last picks I think were like 2003 or four. This picture here I think was I took this in like 99 or 2000. And uh, this was, uh, interestingly enough, I did a walking video not long ago on John F. Kennedy Street. And um, what, what's uh, cool about this picture where I took it, well, you know, for one thing, the building's green and the cars are green. You know, that little Subaru and the little Cavalier and the tree leaves are green and the grass is green and the green, green grass at home. Uh, this picture is not for sale uh, because uh, it's not just because this was a famous uh, restaurant. Uh, on the Maisonneuve, and I don't remember what the, the cross street was, but it's long gone. They destroyed it years ago, and um, I just loved the the look of it. It was so cool, and 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 you can see this was. It looks like it was built in the fifties, but actually the restaurant dated back to like nineteen oh six or something like that. It's just unreal. You go in there, and all the waiter, everybody's old, and um, I, I don't know if I have the negative or not. So this is off limits. Uh, this was just a bunch of garages in a series in Ville Saint Laurent near, uh, it was off of, uh, kind of closer in the older section there, it was off of uh, Covert Sur near De Carey. I, don't know, I just thought it looked cool, you know, I thought, yeah, I could see myself like drawing, uh, doing a drawing or, or a, a painting of an old car parked there along, you know, like, kind of lengthwise, and 
that's you see that's how a lot of uh, that's how I got a lot of my ideas how to do my all my drawings and, and paintings and things you know uh, this was when I went on a, a ski trip with some buddies of mine, some close friends of mine, great friends of mine, back when I had a click, went back when uh, my life was simpler, and uh, like a lot of you. And this was in uh, 1999. We went on a ski trip uh, in uh, saint anne de Beaupré, which is, oh man, fucking far, man. It was north of Quebec City. And we're going there with my buddy Shane in this Cavalier wagon. Nice move ride, 3.1 liter V6, blasting the, the modern tunes because my friend Shane was a DJ. He's still a DJ, so it's amazing. He's like me in the sense where he's still still doing what he loves doing, you know, and and you know, ripping bats and uh, uh, just. I one day I walked around. I went walking around, looking, you know, even at that time. Again, this is like hey, twenty years ago, man, and 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 just floated around, and it was snowing. Just the beauty of beautiful sight of winter, and we were at a motel there, and. Uh, yeah, just nice times, and it's interesting to talk about and reflect about that, you know. Uh, back in the days where, you know, me and my friends, we used to love, uh, we'd crack up listening to, uh, you know, uh, the, you know these, these recordings of the Jerky jerky Boys, uh, uh, crank calls, phone calls. It was just, just a great time. You know, it was, uh, let me see, 20 years ago? Yeah, it was 23. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I also I want to mention to finish too, which is what was. Uh, there's a few pictures, not many, but it's a couple other pictures I have. I took from this uh, trip, but um, uh, this was oddly enough. Uh, we went to, to celebrate the millennium uh, in Quebec City at a bar there, and uh, you know there were no planes that flew out of the sky, and you know there were no computer crashes and all that. And, okay, last pick. I wanted to save a really good one for last. Another. Um, well, kind of iconic place, I should say, especially that sign uh, is is uh, long gone. But I'm glad I really took this in like 2003 or four. And uh, this is yeah, it was the Laval Motel on Saint Jacques Street in, in the NDG sector of Montreal. And uh, uh, you know, it, it it was a street that was always known for motels and uh, you know, garages, gas stations, automotive related. Why? Because it was off Highway 20 and Highway 20 is very, uh, very old, you know. So it just made sense for there to be a street, you know, like a lot more, any, any major city has one of those streets, at least one where, again, it's, it's related to motoring, you know, it's related to highway driving and you got restaurants, you got the motels, ga gas station, make, you know, garage. It's just uh, monumental to the uh, the golden age of transportation, you know, like when this fucking sign, this whole place was built, this motel, like a lot of the other ones, there's probably fucking Pontiac Strata Chiefs and Laurentians driving and Parisians and Impalas and Biscaynes and Bel Airs and Ford Customs, Ford Galaxies, uh, you know what I mean, AMC uh, Rambler Classics and uh, Rambler Ambassadors and... Uh, and Marlins, and you know, it goes on and on. It was just such an amazing time. Uh, so for me, this kind of a picture, I'm glad I saved for last, is uh, really, really epic, you know. Um, and it's funny, what's the car driving here? Let me see. And it's a Sable, you know, Mercury Sable. I mean, it's just whatever, no big deal of a car. Not amazing, not terrible. And um, But, you know, I guess it's, it's kind of a, maybe also a bit symbolic to when I took this picture and even... Oddly enough, the shade of green goes with that sign. All right, guys. Anyway, that's it. So I hope you like this. And uh, I got my, by the way, I got my Patreon uh, uh, set up again. So uh, if you want to uh, become a Patreon member and support what I do, as you know that I'm not full of shit and I keep it real and I do this all the time. I love what I do, but uh, your help is uh, greatly, greatly appreciated. And I'm also going to be posting now and then stuff that I'm not posting on YouTube exclusive to you, the Patreon uh, members, uh, nothing, you know, like we're, we're, it's, it's, I'm not like, it's not like I'm going to hide a snore removal video or something, but you know, whatever stuff for, for extras, you know, stuff, you know what they say, like you pay for what you get, you know? Okay guys. So, uh, Oh, by the way, actually, before I wrap it up, let me show you something I framed recently. I'm very proud of something really cool. Check this out. I bought this frame, right? Second hand. I bought this frame for like not even four bucks. Check this out. I took all these photos I did of a photo shoot of a famous 77 Cordoba that I did a photo shoot about back in like 2002. And uh, it was a friend of mine's car. And this car also starred in the, the famous Quebec movie called Crazy with a K. 
and uh, and I framed it. So you know, I got this on Kijiji. I won't ship it. If you live in Montreal, greater area, you're coming here. Let me know if you want it. You're interested. It's only uh, what am I asking for this thing? Twenty-five bucks. Yeah. Anyway, price this up. So thanks again for watching, guys. Take care. Bye bye.